up, friends, and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode, we are going to be featuring a team based all around Orangaroo. Well, it's kind of around Orangaroo. We got the suggestion from Frankie J, so thank you so much, Frankie, for... I'll put the comment up here. Uh, for the suggestion. Now, my instant reaction was to go down a trick room route with Orangaroo and then instruct and abuse that. But we went for a completely different uh, direction here with the team. So, as you can see, the team on your screen right now is Kling Clang, Doug Trio, Talonflame, Orangaroo, Verizian, and Primarina. Like I said, we're going to have a little bit more fun with Series 6 this week. And it gives us a chance to use some of those maybe not so used Pokemon and give them a little bit of time in the spotlight. We'll go through the, all the details of the team in the episode today. And I'll throw up a rental team as I always do at the end of the episode. If you'd like to take this away and try it out for yourselves. There is a poker paste down below in the description with all the details. And if you want to just grab it and jump on showdown with it. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And the team has some real capabilities. I think in this format so without further ado let's hop into it and as always if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to drop a like on the video and um, if you're new to the channel do make sure you do subscribe uh, we do also do a lot more serious VG so VGC content as well as like the fun stuff we're just coming to the end of a format and Crown Tundra is out next week so I mean because of that I feel like I want to just have a bit of fun with series 6 before we move into series 7 stuff and um yeah, we do also Crown Tundra as well. Loads of that content coming as well. We've got so much planned for the channel. It's going to be crazy busy the next month. So, um, yeah, if you're do, if you thinking about subscribing, hit that subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, leave your comments down below. If you've got suggestions as well for stuff that you'd like to see covered, as always. Um, all right, we've got our first opponent playing a team of Drickazolt, Arcanine Hydreigon, Melotic, uh, Dusclops, and Giglith. Okay, so... <clears throat> The trick room for my opponent is a little bit tricky. Um, no pun intended. But <clears throat> I think we could potentially go Doug Trio um, and Kling Clang here rather than the Orangaroo. Just for the fact that um, <clears throat> we can um, get the speed kind of boost on a bunch of things before we attack and get our weakness policy procced. The other option is obviously just going with the Orangaroo um, and going for. Uh, the weakness policy proc on Kling Clang and then uh, with the Bulldoze and then pass the uh, the Life Orb with the Symbolus ability after we've proc'd our weakness policy on the Kling Clang. Uh, so there's a couple of options here. Kling Clang does well against the majority of stuff but I feel like Doug Trio probably gives us more coverage against everything and allows us to trap stuff in so we don't need to worry about them switching out. Uh, I think we'll go Primarina and uh, am I not bringing Orangaroo to this first one? We're not. It doesn't look like we are. I'll bring Verizian as well. Because Verizian is another element of the team with the Doug Trio. So um, if it doesn't work out with Kling Clang, with the Bulldoze, etc. Then we've got the option to switch into uh, Verizian. Go for the beat up there and uh, boost its justified ability. And uh, start knocking things out. So we've got plenty of options to get into our first one today. Let us see. Okay. Draco's Alt Arcanine. Uh, that's not so bad. It's not the greatest either. Um, <clears throat> obviously, Arcanine putting on a lot of pressure onto the, the Kling Clang. But I do feel... Uh, and the Draco Zolt as well with the Max Quake. Um, that is the big problem here, I think. Uh, we could Bulldoze. It might have been better to bring in something like... Um, <clears throat> Orangaroo in the back and then we kind of sack off Doug Trio uh, because what we could the thing is we can't really hit the uh, the Draco Zolt for like amazing damage we can definitely get rid of the Arcanine and then maybe go after the Draco Zolt the next turn uh, it's just whether or not Kling Clang can take uh, a Max Quake from the Draco Zolt which is questionable okay let's try it let's go Max Lightning we're going to set, set it all up for the Draco Zolt and we'll go for the Bulldoze uh, the Arcanine can't switch out uh, obviously, with a clear body, we can't be intimidated either, so that's quite nice. Um, and we'll see about getting this Arcanine. We should be able to get it plus two. Uh, it doesn't look like... Oh, well, maybe the Draco's Alt is maxing. You would have thought it would have maxed um, prior prior to us. It, would have, it should be the faster thing, but it may not be. Um, it definitely won't be after the Bulldoze. Just straight gone for a Bolt Beak. Perfect. Don't mind that at all. Um, now we get the Bulldoze, uh, and we... 
may be able to get the Draco's ult the next turn, you know, with a high a combination of high horsepower and um, uh, the, the max steel spike, maybe. Or maybe just the wild charge, the max lightning. We'll see. Okay, so we do get the weakness policy boost. And we do get the Arcanine. So that is a good start for us. That is an excellent start for us. Um, now whether or not they bring in maybe something like Dusclops here. I don't know. Because the Duck Trio kind of makes things very awkward for my opponent. I think they've got to max the uh, the Draco's ult the next turn though. If they do have max, like the, the, the high horsepower on it, which you would assume they do. Okay, we're going to see High Dragon. Okay. Um... So I think we'll just steal spike the high dragon, um, and we'll go for a high horsepower into the Draco's ult. We do have the sash on the the uh, the Doug Trio, so I mean we're not in the worst place at all. We are going to see it's going to be the high dragon maxing. It's probably going to earth power, um, cling clang. But the the main thing is that we get rid of the Draco's ult. Uh, because once the, the Draco's ult's gone down, like, Primarina has a super easy time when it comes onto the field. I horsepower. This should be enough. It is, because Doug Trio's just legit. <laughs> I love Doug Trio. It's such a cool Pokemon. It's one of those Pokemon I've, like, really never really used. Can we take this? I don't know if we can. Nah, no way. Okay, so Kling Clang not being as effective as we want it to be. Unfortunately, now obviously with Pokemon with the levitating ability, we can't um, we can't get the jump on them, which is a little bit unfortunate. But it's still all right because now I think we've got the perfect opportunity to bring in Verizian and go for that beat up and close combat into Hydreigon and get rid of it. Depends what their other Pokemon is. Okay, it's Melotic. I mean, that's that's like that's perfect. That's the most perfect Pokemon that we could have seen come out here because Verizian is just going to clean up. So this should be. A pretty clean sweep um, and we'll go for the beat up into Verizian. We know we're going to outspeed the Hydreigon. It's not like it's air streamed or got any speed boosts with it so we're sitting in a pretty nice spot uh, and we'll go for that beat up. Um, <clears throat> is three beat ups going to be enough? Plus three? It should be, right? Hopefully it is going to be. Like Ver The problem with Verizian compared to Terrakion and Kobolion, um is it's just not not that strong you kind of need the life orb but i had to put the life orb on the oranguru in this team but it's enough okay so we, we take that back for Izzian. we take that back okay we're fine and then the melotic i don't know what you're gonna do probably icy wind here maybe maybe let's see we should still outspeed it with doug trio i think even after an icy wind uh and then we can um okay does some fat damage. That does some fat damage. Uh, I mean, we're still going to be alright. Because we, what we'll do is protect with Verizian. And Bulldoze. Uh, oh, do we Bulldoze? It's kind of risky. <laughs> it is risky. It is really quite risky. Um, I don't think Verizian goes down though. Because I don't think they got Ice Beam. So we just Leaf Blade. And we'll just go for a high horsepower. And that should be enough to do do the job we'll get the high horsepower off first like i say we're gonna outspeed it we're base 120 with with doug trio oh and verizian still outspeeds it as well so that's super fine that was that was perfect that was perfect other than cling clang i would have liked to have done a little bit more but it wasn't the best matchup for cling clang really when we look at the team preview at the start it definitely wasn't the best matchup but when i'm featuring these pokemon and these teams it's hard sometimes to be like okay the team's kind of generally centered around a certain couple of pokemon and when i can't bring some of those pokemon it makes it difficult to kind of do these feature episodes um obviously i'd love to do more episodes with them but i think how how we like to go through teams and feature different teams on the channel it works better like this and hopefully you guys enjoy that sort of and sort of thing as well so um good game to my opponent there hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our next one and in the next one i'm really hoping that we get the opportunity to use the orangaroo because basically we've got symbolos on it so what happens is we'll we'll bulldoze we'll proc the weakness policy on the cling clang and then because we've used the weakness policy symbolos activates and we give a uh, cling clang the life orb as well so we get the life orb with the weakness policy on and so on it would have been nice to put i did think about maybe putting the assault vest on a rangaroo 
but it then it kind of tied Orangaroo down if we were bringing it and we weren't bringing the Kling Clang as an option. So that was the reason why I didn't. Okay. Got our next opponent. Mm, tough, 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 tough. For one reason, we'll get into that in a minute. But we've got Lapras, Arcanine, Talonflame, Amoongus, um, Urshifu, and the Gothitelle. So the Urshifu is the one thing that's causing me a few issues right now. Uh, especially if it is the Dark type, which you would imagine it is in this build with the, the Lapras there as the kind of the main water type user. Um, yeah, it's tricky because they can knock out Orangaroo before we can actually do anything. Uh, the only other option we've got is going Doug Trio again and going for Kling Clang. Uh, the problem there would be the Talonflame from my opponent coming in with the um, with their Tailwind. So I'm going to bring Talon and I'm going to bring Marina. And in the back, we're going to go Orangaroo and Kling Clang. And that's going to be our back mod. So hopefully we can get it working in this game. <sighs> But we'll see. We'll soon find out. Um, it's Gothitelle going to lead? Because that's the other option my opponent's got. Gothitelle and maybe something where they don't bring the Lapras. But I would imagine we'll see the Lapras come out. With the Talonflame, I think that'll be the lead. And then Urshifu in the back. Ah, I am wrong. I am so wrong. I am so wrong. Okay. Well, we'll take that. Because we can match Tailwinds. And we can go after the, the Urshifu. Once the Urshifu is down, the, everything becomes so much easier for us. So we will Tailwind and we'll go. The only worry here is if they Poison Jab us. Um, and they're banded. So the other option here is we... Huh, now we have to Tailwind, I think, before everything. Yeah, I just worry about the Poison Jab. That would be a little bit of a worry for us. Um... We could max and go, but I kind of want to max Kling Clang. I'm just going to go Moonblast into the uh, the Urshifu. So, we'll Tailwind. Are they Tailwinding? They should do. Yeah, they're Tailwinding. Okay. I going to say, if they're not, then that makes it so much easier for us. Aren't you turns? Okay. Well, we'll take that all day long. What's coming in, though? The Arcanine? Arcanine. Potentially. Mm. Or maybe Lapras. Could be the Lapras. It could be. Oh, it's the Amoongus. Okay, well, we don't mind that too much. I mean, it's not the best. But again, like, I really... I don't mind it at all, to be honest. We've got the safety goggles on our Talonflame. Uh, so we can just taunt it. And we can go for a Hyper Voice. Because it's going to start to try and spore, spore our Pokemon. But there's no way it outspeeds our Talonflame, so... Um, and with the Assault Vest on Primarina, we're kind of alright. Taking an attack, if they do decide to go that route. Because they may suspect... Oh, huh, they just go for the Protect. Okay, that's fine. They're going to use this time to try and get damage onto Primarina, that's the thing. Like, this is where we should have been maybe a little bit, yeah, because now we're totally in Urshifu territory here. And then the next turn, they bring in Urshifu. Um, as we'll take down the Talonflame here. So, I mean, we still got the Brave Bird, although it's it's a little tougher. I mean, I think what we'll do is taunt the Amoongus Moonblast. Hmm, or do we? Because Urshifu definitely comes back in. That's Lapras, huh? Okay. Well, we need to keep one of these two around because otherwise we're, we're, we're completely screwed. Um, and what can come in? Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to taunt the Amoongus. We're going to switch Primarina out to Orangaroo. And then we're going to get hopefully knocked out. Hopefully our Talonflame goes down to the Lapras attack. That's what we're hoping for. And then we can get Kling Clang in. And then we can go Bulldoze. Get our weakness. Or maybe Bulldoze uh, Shift Gear. And then that gives us the jump on the Urshifu. And then we can max. But I don't know if we're going to have room to do that. 
with the Lapras on the field at the same time, you know? It's going to be difficult because the Lapras, depending if it's life orb, it's going to be chucking out massive damage. So we get the taunt into the Amoongus, so that's step one of the whole plan. We're a few steps ahead of uh, what turn we're on, but I think we've got to kind of start doing that. Okay, there's a resonance into Orangaroo. Well, we take that, so that's that's good. Now, really, ideally here, what we want to see is... Ah, it's tough, though, because... Ah, yeah, it is Life Orb as well. Energy Ball, okay, into Talon, breaking our Gale Wings. It's fine. Mm. I don't really want to lose a Rangaroo here. Um, and I don't want to switch. I think you got... Do you go after a Rangaroo? Maybe. No. It's just if we switch Kling Clang... Like, the problem is switching Kling Clang in right now, we could take a Hydro Vortex. It's so risky. But I feel like it's our only opportunity because I feel like Amoongus could switch out right now for the Urshifu. And I feel like we need to go for this play right now to get the, this win. So if it all pays off, I think we win this match. But if it doesn't, we take a Hydro Vortex for our troubles. Then we are in troubles. Big troubles. There's a Bulldoze. Okay. Not Urshifu switch, which is interesting. Oh, please go after the Orangaroo, thinking we're going to set Trick Room. That's my only hope here. That's my only hope. So we get the Life Orb, which is ideal. So we actually get it. And it's a geyser. It's going to be into the uh, Kling Clang. We're going to lose it. No, it is into the Orangaroo. Perfect. Come on. <laughs> all right. All right. Was, uh, like, I'll take that all day long. That's perfect. Okay. And the Kling Clang is set up now. Now the Tailwind of my opponent's end does end. Okay. An Energy Ball. Super fine. Super fine with that. Our Tailwind's all pitter out. So let's bring in Primarina. Do we bring in Prim? Or do we bring in Talonflame? What's better? Prim. I think we'll bring in Prim now. Because I'm not too worried about the speed. I need to. Uh, I need to get the. Um, I just hope that Kling Clang Max can take a geyser from. Let's go for this, and let's go for the energy ball. Yeah, let's do that. Do that and that. All we need is Kling Clang to survive this turn. So we just got to take a Hydro Vortex from a Life Orb Lapras in the rain. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Come on, Kling Clang. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong this one time. Prove that you are the steel type that we all want you to be. That's what we need right now. It's going to be very close, you know. I think we should take it, but we're going to be probably, possibly, in... There's some nice damage. It's not quite enough, though. We're going to have a life orb recoil to contend with as well. Okay. Come on. Energy ball. Oh, it's oh, so close. We'll lose Primarina here. Come on, Kling Clang. Take this like a champ. 9 HP, but we'll go down to the recoil the next turn, which is, like, super sad. Just super sad. Because uh, we can get Talonflame in now. Problem is... Um, oh, I don't, the, the, the Amoongus has definitely got the Cobra Berry. 100%. And the life orb's going to kind of be so counterproductive for us now. I mean, we can max guard. Yeah, let's max... Uh, it's risky max guarding. Because if we max guard, we give the Lapras the opportunity to take us down. Because I kind of need to taunt the Amoongus. That's what we need to do. Um, so they can't redirect the next turn. Unless they don't have Cobra Berry, of course, which I, I'm presuming they do, but let's, let's say they don't, okay? Let's Steel Spike so we get at least Talon a defense boost for when that Urshifu comes in. 
I'm gonna try Brave Bird in. The Amoongus. Yeah, there's the Rage Powder. We just gotta hope it's not Cobra Berry, because if it is Cobra Berry, then we're screwed. No Cobra! Come on, let's take it down. Let's get rid of this Amoongus. Yes, come on, we can do this. Come on, we can do this. Okay, we get the crit. I don't know if it mattered. I'm gonna say it didn't. I'm gonna say it didn't, 100%. We take a bunch of damage, which is not really great. We do get the Steel Spike, so the defense boost is going to be the best. It's going to give us the best chance against this Urshifu. The problem is, if it is Sash, then we're screwed. Even if it's not Sashed, I think we're screwed, because I don't think a Brave Bird is going to be enough to take it down. So I think we lose this regardless, even though my hype just now has gone through the roof. Thinking about it realistically, I don't think we're going to be able to take Urshifu down from full health with a Brave Bird. Without, um, and there's no way you suck a punch. We just need a crit. We need a crit. We need a crit. That is it. They suck a punch in. I don't think that's the right play because of defense. Ah, it is, it is, it is. They got the band, I think. Okay, yeah, okay, we could have tailwinded, but ah, it's 50-50 there. Okay, well, I mean, very good game to my opponent. I'm just sad that the Kling Clan couldn't actually get going in this one. Um, I think it has got potential. The two mods, Duck Trio is a little bit faster, but there's definitely a couple of mods there with the Kling Clan. Um, and it did do some work, I guess. It didn't, like, it did get knockouts, so it wasn't a complete flop. Um... The thing is with the uh, Orangaroo, it might be better, like actually thinking about it now and how we played the Orangaroo in those matches, it might be better to just go for attacking options on Orangaroo and give it the Assault Vest. Um, because then we'll be able to at least give Kling Clang a little bit extra health or maybe a berry as well. I just feel like the, the Life Orb gives you just ridiculous power. Um, okay, we need to get rid of one of our teams. I think probably it's going to be... Has to be. Um, well, that's new. That's new. Is that new? No, that's not so new. But that is kind of new, the Double Dragon. I think it's going to have to be the Snorlax one or Toxtricity. Okay, like I always say, if there are teams you've got up or had up that I need to take down to make room for new teams... And you'd still like to play them let me know and i will put them up on my new cart on my other cart um don't make public <sighs> it's always bad when you don't win and you like have those like hype moments in the match where you feel like i've made a tiny bit of i've made a tiny bit of headway getting far too excited overconfident but um at least we did get to see some elements of the team uh we got to see the verizium with the doug trio we got to see the orangaroo uh the talent flame we featured everything today so it's really nice there is a rental code my friends if you try it out remember it is a little bit of fun there are elements in the team that i think are extremely good and extremely strong that you can use in other teams so it might inspire some ideas for you guys um but if nothing else you'll have a lot of fun if you do try this team on the ladder um so we'll wrap it up there thank you so much as always for tuning in and uh, we'll be back with another episode very soon so until then my friends take care of yourselves be kind to each other be kind to yourselves and i'll see you all in the next one so until then take care bye bye